So this is the third section of the differentiation chapter, which is something called the chain rule. And like a chain, there are things that we can link together. Now, the nice thing about differentiation is that when we have like dy dx or dx dy or something like that, we can treat them like fractions. And here you can see that we've actually treated dy dx like a fraction. And we said, OK, dy dx is equal to dy du times by that. Now, if you times those together, what would happen is that, you know, those du's would cancel out. And yes, you would get dy dx. Now, how's that going to help us to differentiate? Well, it helps us to differentiate functions of a function. I'm going to show you how it works. And then after that, I'm going to show you the easy way of doing it without having to refer to this chain rule. So let's say, for example, I had uh, y equals um, 4x minus 2 to the power 9. And I want you to differentiate that. Well, one way of differentiating it would be to expand the brackets, but I'm not going to do that. I don't really want to write out nine sets of brackets and expand them out to get the solution. There is another way of doing it. And what we do is it's like substitution. What I'm going to do, I'm going to say let u, and normally you use u for substitution in uh, differentiation, equal 4x minus 2. So I'm saying, right, let the thing in the bracket equal u. So what happens is it now becomes y equals u to the power 9. All right, well, if I differentiate that, I get something which is um, dy du, isn't it? Yeah, because it's not x anymore. And dy du is 9u to the power 8. Yeah, so what I've done, I've said, right, let the bit in the brackets equal this u thing. So now I get y equals something in terms of u. I can differentiate that. But I can also differentiate this as well. And if I differentiate that, if I said u equals 4x minus 2, then du dx using the correct letters and 4x minus 2 differentiated is 4. So what have I got? I've got dy du and I've got du dx. I want to find dy dx and dy dx is equal to dy du times by du dx. And I've got both of those. dy du is 9u to the 8. du dx is 4. So what does that become? 36 u to the 8. Now, remember at the start, I said let u equal 4x minus 2. Well, let's substitute that back. And that will give us 36 4x minus 2 to the power 8. And we've differentiated using the chain rule. Now, you're probably saying, oh, isn't there an easier way? Yes, there is. And let me show it to you. You need to think of inside and outside. OK, you need to think of this bit in the bracket as being the inside. And in this case, where we've got the power, we're going to think of that as the outside, anything outside the bracket. And the rule for differentiating this, it's basically the chain rule, is this. So my form of the chain rule. The first thing that we do um, on this is we're going to uh, differentiate the outside. Differentiate the outside so whatever outside the bracket we're going to differentiate it so in our example here if i differentiated the outside 
I would have nine bracket eight. Yeah, differentiate the outside. Forget what's inside, differentiate the outside. Nine bracket eight, and in the bracket I had four x minus two. So I haven't touched the inside of the bracket. All I've done is differentiate the outside of the bracket. Step number two, second and final step, multiply by the inside, whatever's inside the bracket, differentiated. So whatever is inside the bracket, we're going to differentiate it and multiply it by it. Now inside the bracket, we have 4x minus 2. If I differentiate that, it becomes 4. So I take what I've written in step number 1 and I multiply it by 4. So I will now have uh, 4 times 9 4x minus 2 to the power 8. So what do I get? 36 4x minus 2 to the power 8. Exactly what I had before. Same answer. It's the same. If you can remember these two steps here about differentiating the outside and multiplying by the inside differentiated, it applies to a whole load of different functions of functions in uh, differentiation and it will get you out of a lot of tricky situations. It'll save you having to memorize lots of different rules. Differentiate the outside, multiplied by the inside, differentiated. That'll save us a lot of time. So we're going to use that here. So um, dy dx, this will take seconds. Differentiate the outside. Okay, so five bracket four. So three x four plus five. Notice you don't touch the inside of bracket. Step number two, multiply by the inside differentiated. Now the inside differentiated is 12 x three plus one. So it's done. There we go. Wasn't that easy? change that sign so that you can see it clearly that's a plus and that so you can see it clearly that's an x that's it it's done now yeah differentiate the outside multiply by the inside differentiated not much more we can do with that um, i mean we could dispense with the bracket and write them a bit closer together i uh, not dispense with the bracket sorry dispense with the time sign write them closer together but besides that you know that's it, we, we, we've answered the question. There's no more you can do there, okay? Right, to do this one, uh, anytime you get like trig and it's to a power, then the first thing to do is to write it like this, y equals sine x all to the power four. And then you can see that we can apply the chain rule to this. So dy dx, so First of all, we differentiate the outside. Remember the inside of the bracket doesn't change. And then we multiply by the inside differentiated and sine differentiate is going to be cos. That's pretty much our, our final answer. Maybe I might just write it like this for sine cubed x cos x. Uh, this one, find dy dx at 4, 9. So we need to find dy dx. Step number one, write this in a form that we can differentiate. So we're going to put it in brackets. 5x squared plus 1 to the power a half. So dy dx. So all we need to do here, chain rule again, differentiate the outside half bracket negative a half inside of the bracket doesn't change 5x squared plus 1 multiplied by the inside differentiated 
so that's going to be 10x there we go it's done um, find dy dx at 49 well at 49 you can't put the 9 in you can only put the 4 in so dy dx will equal all we do is substitute 4 in half 5 times 4 squared plus 1 to the negative a half times by 10 times 4 so let's work that out and see what we get and that gives you exactly 20 over 9 so that's done can you see using those two little steps makes the differentiation much quicker so you'll notice on this one it looks different we have y equals something x is a function of y now normally what we're used to seeing is y is a function of x in which case we find f dash of x and that would be dy dx yeah we just write it as dy dx now here what we've got is x is written as a function of y so all that changes is that we'd actually find f dash of y which is swapped over which is dx dy so if i want to go to dy dx you can treat these like fractions remember that's one over dx dy yeah you can treat these dy dx things like fractions so if you've got dx dy and you want dy dx you find a reciprocal of it there are the reciprocals of each other so you'll see in this question here i have x equals y cubed plus y so that means that dx dy will be two sorry three y squared plus one we need to find its value at the point so at two one let's try doing that at again that's better at two one now you'll notice that you have y so you substitute in the one um, now before we do that we actually want to work out what um, dy dx is we want dy dx at 2 1 so dy dx dy dx is going to be 1 over what we just worked out so 3y squared plus 1 and it's this we want at 2 1 so dy dx will be 1 over 3 times 1 squared plus 1 which is 1 over 4 so that would be our final answer here so whenever you get things that look swapped around you won't be working out uh, dy dx uh, directly you'll be working out dx dy and you just find a reciprocal of that and that will give you dy dx right you should now be able to do exercise 9c on pages 239 to 240